one. You know, we have a very aging infrastructure system. We're trying to get a handle on this. We're working on um, improving this, but I can't emphasize the importance of if this is an example of what happens when you have a very aging infrastructure system. Um, they've narrowed it down where the water main might have happened. It's impacted a huge area. This is going to be a overnight job. We don't know whether or not things are going to be up and running by the morning. We are hoping, as you can see, every important agency is here from BGE, uh, Constellation, uh, DPW, Transportation, etc., to really mitigate and try to uh, resolve this issue as we face now. Um, but it's important that citizens or businesses call the 311 to get the detailed information about their respective businesses and updates as we move along. So I'm going to turn it over to Commander uh, Cooper to come and speak about the particulars and then David Scott and Mr. Uh, Fox. My name is Andrew Cooper, um, Thanks, Commander, and Department. We were um, dispatched here this morning for a report of a broken water main. We had a partial collapse of the roadway and subsequent uh, collapse of the sidewalk that followed. Um, basically what we did was uh, ensure the safety of the residents and the area uh, commuters by shutting down the roadway, cordoning off the safety zone, and uh, doing a methodical search of the buildings involved. We did have some buildings flooded, and we did close down two buildings uh, subsequently to that, just for the safety reasons uh, related to the excess water. We're in the process now of mitigation, and we're really in the process of shrinking the public safety footprint since we're at a steady state, and assisting the other city agencies with uh, inter interagency command in the mitigation of this 20-inch uh, 20 20 inch water main break. We have had some natural gas leak that we've addressed and mitigated that also. And everything, to my knowledge right now, is back on line with the uh, possible exception of uh, low water pressure and we have some uh, rust in the water related issues in the area, which uh, hopefully will be mitigated in the next couple hours. Yes, ma'am, Madam Mayor, I just reiterated electricity has not been affected, the fiber, network has not been affected and uh, we're even having some uh, positive news about water restoration to Deaton Hospital, University Hospital, the pressure is coming back. So uh, through the systematic shutdown of the related feeder mains, we are uh, getting water pressure back without the 20 inch main service. Originally we thought it was a 40 inch main, there is a 40 inch main right next to that. Uh, the water department could possibly better address that, but we have isolated to 20 inch main. Pardon me? Uh, we shut down 103 South Gay and 40 South Gay, just as a precaution. There is some water in, in the basements and there is water surrounding the buildings, uh, which is subsided. We did have Pratt Street partially flooded. And that has gone down. We've maintained traffic on Pratt Street, and now we're even opening up extra lanes. So we have good news to report, and uh, hopefully by the evening rush, we'll uh, be in the construction phase to repair and get it all back online. How old are these water mains, the one that, the one that broke? Well, David Scott will talk about that, but oh. before he comes on, I do want to emphasize that we need the public to take sanitary precaution <laughs> as a result of not having running water. It's very important, and that's why... Um, we need to mitigate what's going on here. Um, so I, will, I wanted to make that point as well. Madam Mayor, is the city going to be offering water to residents? We are going to be offering water to residents, and that's why we're asking residents who might be impacted, particularly with um, one or two of the condos that are here located, that they contact the 311 system, and the um, management office of emergency will be responding to that. Do you know how many buildings don't have water right now? Do you have a sense of Six. Um, there's a, probably most of the buildings in the downtown area either have minimum water, pressure's very low, or no water. That's why we ended up closing some of the city buildings. Good, good afternoon. Well, good morning. David Scott, Director of Public Works. Um, we have a, a, a issue with our 20-inch main. It broke early this morning. Uh, we have several mains. We have two 40s and several 20s that have been worked on and shut down. 
So the impact of the area extends from Boyd to the east to uh, Light on the west, Pratt to Lexington. So that entire area is going to be impacted directly by the shutdown. As Madam Mayor mentioned, all of those in that impacted area, if you are impacted or you are concerned about water, please contact 311. There'll be somebody there to direct you or to assist you. We are concerned about our seniors and those that have special needs, so they should call 311 if they have any concerns. On an individual building basis, we're asking all the property managers to make that individual assessment with their own employees that their employees contact uh, their employer to determine what the status of that building is. Fire department is working with each of those buildings to ensure the safety of these buildings downtown. We will continue to work on these water mains throughout the day and throughout the evening. Transportation is ready and prepared to restore the street once we make the assessment uh, initially of the pavement and we'll be able to assist us in restoring that as quickly as possible. We have all our crews ready to go. We've been assessing the situation all morning. As soon as we get it down, we'll be able to put it back together and get it back in service. As the mayor mentioned, uh, this is another example of an aging infrastructure that's over 100 years old. And as we come forward to the citizens and we talk about rate increases, things like rate increases go towards helping to support this infrastructure. If you recall, many years ago there was an issue down on Howard Street where we had a big water main breakdown here. Years ago there was one up on Greenmount and Homewood. So we, every once in a while we incur or, or run into these situations. Again, the system is very old. And we ask everyone's support, stay out of downtown currently until we get it back together. But you have a very confident mayor here who's very strong and a great leader. And she has a great team around her that's going to make sure we stay on this and get it done. We're still working. It takes a little while to shut these large mains down. Uh, so we expect to have it down probably within the next hour or so. Well, we haven't been able to make that assessment. As I said, we, I got the initial reports around 6.30 this morning. So this water's been flowing since then. We've been on top of it. It takes a little while to assess the, the limits and really get these mains shut down. We're talking uh, very large 40-inch mains. Uh, most of the water comes from our, through our Montebello treatment plant. So we, there was a concern initially that was going to be impacting both the Zone 1, which is most of downtown. But when we were able to get the mains uh, to, a, to a manageable level, uh, we were able to restore water pressure. Those areas outside of downtown that were experiencing low water pressure have been reporting that they're back in service and they're okay. We've been assessing the hospitals. The hospitals are, back, are in service. They are reporting groundwater also, so we are in constant contact with them to ensure that we supply the services that they need to stay open. As far as the reason of why all this happened, is it age that it looks to be, and, you know, purely it's, infrastructure? It's purely uh, the age of the infrastructure. And as you're aware, as you know, like old infrastructure during the seasonal changes, the ground shifts, and a lot of times you see many of these water main breaks either in the winter or in the spring when the temperature changes. So as you get new systems, as you get the water mains replaced, you're no longer as impacted by temperature. And this particular one was scheduled for repairs, correct? This one was uh, scheduled for repairs. We were leading the Lombard Street re uh, repaving. We were working with transportation uh, ahead of that. We were in the process of actually assessing the mains here and we identified all of the work that was going to be done. This kind of led us into it, and now we're going to be continuing to work on this thing. Again, from Lloyd to the to the Lloyd to the east, Light to the west, Pratt on the south, and Lexington to the north. How old is this water main break that broke? Well, again, our system is about 100 years old. Uh, so until we get down on it, we'll be able to assess which main it is, and then we can determine how old it is. Is it going to cost to fix all this? Will well, use it as stimulus money? Well, this is not stimulus money, um, but we will be able to assess at the end of the day how much it's taken. Again, it's all of the agencies involved with this. We have fire, we have police, emergency management, health department, housing is involved, public works, of course, transportation, the mayor's office, so we have the entire uh, city staff responding to these emergencies. This isn't new for us. Uh, we're, we're ready and prepared uh, for these types of situations. So we have this fully under control. We'd like, we like to have transportation to speak. Yeah, and then Mr. Fox, Scott please. can come back on this issue. But just to give people a sense of how to get a handle on where to go and not to go and, and where they can use water. And then you can go back. Good morning. Al Fox, Director of Transportation. As the mayor said to the traveling public, if you don't have to be in the area, Please don't come down here. As a result of the incident, 
that has taken place, we've had to do some do the following action. Lombard Street is closed between President and South Street. We've also had to restrict parking on Baltimore Street and on Fayette Street between President and Charles Street. So there will be no parking to allow for traffic to move freely along those routes. Also, uh, on South Street between Baltimore and Lombard Street, no parking on those streets. This is all for the safety of the traveling community. We have also shut down Gay Street between Baltimore and Lombard Street. That would be used as a staging area for all of the construction equipment that has to come down. So we ask the, the traveling public, please avoid those areas. Uh, we will continue to provide some updates on our website, www.lombardproject.com. If you go to that website, you'll get some continual update on alternate routes that you can take. Also, if you want to take a visual, look at a visual of the area, you can go to www.trafficland.com and you'll be able to access the city cameras and see what's going on within the immediate area. Uh, we will continue to work with the other agencies in providing the public updates. So stay tuned to your radio stations, to your television station, and you will be constantly getting updates from us. So, Go to www.lombardproject.com for alternative routes to take and then to see what's going on, www.trafficland.com. Thank you very much. Mayor, can you come in and sort of put this in context for us? I mean, have you seen a break this week before? I mean, what, what's the one on the... Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> it was just about a couple of months ago. Okay. Is the break on gay or long parts? It's on gay. Okay. Is the other block or the. It's right here, gay and long Is this something we are going to consistently see until we fix our infrastructures or anything?